today's episode of what broke this time well today is actually it's a nice day in Texas but our travels to get here was a little rough which is why we're recording this video got us some uh, ribs on the smoker going out here got a little camp set up but as any of you know the roads are very rough uh, coming over especially out I-10 so while we were traveling well I'll have to just turn around and show you we had this happen now as I'm sure a lot of you know it's not supposed to swing that way it's supposed to be rigid so Donna found some online they're very similar to this but the good news is is that the stems are almost exactly the same, like we said, just a little bit shorter, but the old globes will fit onto the new stems. So we're gonna go through replacing these. Hang on, we'll be right back. First things we're gonna have to do is to take the light bulbs and the uh, globes off of these. So these light bulbs are just push them in counterclockwise quarter turn save them you're gonna need them again like that and then up inside here there's a o-ring and these simply slide off just like that carrying y'all along with me I uh, have no idea <laughs> so Phillips head screw All right, two screws is all that's holding us up there. Obviously, make sure the power's turned off before you do anything like this, but. Right. You can see that it just, just broke right off right there. And there is no saving it once it's broke like that. So we'll just put a new one in its place. And I have to remember also, this is 12 volt power. This stuff is not run off of uh, your 120 system. If you hook it to your 120 system, it could be bad. So please don't do that. Like always, make it a point to give them a good tug. Make sure you got it on there good and tight. And there we have it. Now we trace these wires back up in the ceiling where they belong and get us a screw started like so. I am trying to put these back in the holes to come out of. Just like that. A little rubber thing. We'll make sure it stays on there. Put this back in there. Like that. Put us a bulb back in it. I won't make y'all suffer through watching me do the other one. It's going to be the exact same process. And we'll be back in business. Project complete. It was real easy. Took what? 10 minutes at the most 10 15 minutes remember it's dc wiring so uh make sure and connect your wires up black to black white to white we'll give it a whirl here and look we have lights again and donna even washed them so not only are they up there but they're clean on top of that so next project is going to be working on the bed uh, I saw in a previous video that that uh, the bed had pulled away from the wall well fast forward a few months and it has done it again so we're fixed to put a permanent fix on this thing that'll be a project for tomorrow you can only do one project a day when you're retired <laughs> I mean this is too much work 
Well, we managed to get it apart again, and again, I will show you what's supposed to happen. If you look down here, this board right here is normally attached to the wall. You can see right here, it has, it has made quite a mess. I think uh, we're going to reinforce some of this stuff and then I'm going to run down to the hardware store and get some a construction adhesive, some different screws, and we're going to screw it and glue it, and hopefully that'll help. Uh, Donna's about got this cleaned out. We're going to pull that piece of plywood up. Look, make sure this thing's evidently got rollers on it up underneath there. Make sure that everything's rolling like it's supposed to, that nothing's sticking. Uh, it should go in and out. Uh, fairly easily, but we're gonna figure out what's going on here. We can't have this happening all the time That mattress is way too heavy to be moving around like this Of course we have to clean while we have things apart too. All right, so I'm gonna show you around right here. What's kind of what in my opinion what's going on? You can see this board that's right here is all that holes This whole assembly to the wall and that's when that slide goes in and out that's what pulls it you can see and i'm going to use my toe to point you can see down here that it has rollers on each side that it rolls on top of to make life uh, better so what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, liquid nails on the other side of this board right here and re-screw it to the wall and give it plenty of time to dry and see if that helps it. Uh, we've checked the rollers to make sure that they're rolling like they're supposed to, all that kind of stuff. So stand by. Here we go. So I pushed it back up here and I drew a line on the wall so I'll know where to put my glue. I'm going to run some glue down through here and then push this back up and screw it in tight. Thanks, 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 thanks. Yeah, Slide this thing back up in place and make sure when you do this, make sure that these wires don't get pinched. Slide this baby back up into place just like that right there. together now we'll just have to wait let the glue dry keystone if you're listening put a support uh, back there to screw this into so that it's got something to work with but that's the end of today's episode of what broke this time we'll uh keep on driving down the road keep fixing things as we ride that's just life on the road if you like what we're doing and you want to support us a little bit, be sure and hit that like button. It's free. And we'll see you somewhere out on the road.